Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be sharing some tips on how to become a morning person. I love waking up early. I find when I wake up early, I'm more productive throughout the day. I am less anxious. I feel like I've just accomplished something straight away, but I also love sleeping. I love being snuggly in bed. And when it comes to waking up in the morning, I usually do not want to get out of bed. I have to really kind of force myself to do it. I always, you know, the night before I'll be like, oh, I'm going to wake up super early. And then when it comes down to it, I'm just like, give me 10 more minutes of sleep. However, over the years, I have struggled to wake up early in the morning, especially when going through anxiety and depression. I feel it's just a lot more difficult to wake up in the morning. When I was dealing with OCD and it was at its worst, waking up in the morning was one of the hardest things I could do. I just wouldn't want to wake up in the morning. Everything felt so much more intense in the morning and I would just lay in my bed, not wanting to wake up, not wanting to face the day. But that was a really vicious cycle because then when I finally did have to wake up, I felt so gross, I felt so groggy, I felt like I just had wasted the day. So if you are struggling with anxiety and depression, it can be really difficult to wake up in the morning, but trust me, it is one of the best things you can do for your mental health. So yeah, I'm gonna share some tips with you today. Sleep is so important for our mental and physical health. While we sleep, our organs detox and repair themselves. And I've been researching the Chinese medicine organ body clock. So at certain hours throughout the night, different organs are detoxing or repairing themselves. So for instance, at around 1 a.m., I believe the liver is detoxing so you want to be sleeping while that's happening so you want to make sure that you're going to bed before midnight and allowing your body to just rest and repair so then the next day you can feel amazing and you know one thing that successful people always seem to have in common is that they wake up early and have a strong morning routine when you wake up early it's like you're accomplishing something right away so it kind of sets the tone for the rest of the day so you can you know accomplish more throughout your day and you have more time to accomplish those things Okay, so my first tip is kind of obvious, but if you're wanting to be a morning person, you're gonna have to go to bed earlier the night before. So this was something that I always struggled with because I wanted to be a morning person, but then I would stay up till 2 a.m editing or on my computer, um, just not sleeping. So in the morning, I would try to wake up, but I would be so tired and groggy and grumpy. And I know for myself, eight hours of sleep is what works best for me. Everybody's body is a bit different. Maybe you can get away with six hours or maybe you need nine hours. But yeah, you have to go to bed earlier in order to wake up earlier so you get your full good night sleep. And you also wanna to try to go to bed and wake up at the same time every day so your body gets into a routine and your body gets used to it. And my next tip is getting a good night's sleep because if you have a good night's sleep, it's gonna be so much easier to wake up in the morning. So I have a video on tips to help you get to sleep. I will link that below in the description. But some of the tips that I would suggest everybody incorporates is trying to stay off your electronics at least an hour before bed because if you're looking at your electronics, you're getting that blue light in your eyes and that's signaling your brain that it's still daylight out and that's gonna suppress your melatonin production. So yeah, just try to stay away from the blue light right before bed. And of course, one of the things that's gonna help you stay asleep throughout the night is sleeping in a comfy bed. So I wanted to thank Birch for sponsoring today's video. Birch makes organic non-toxic mattresses and they're made in the USA. They are just made from four sustainable materials. They are made with organic latex, New Zealand wool, American steel springs, and organic cotton. They have many third-party certifications to ensure that their mattresses and products are totally free from a long list of harmful chemicals. Their products have been tested for volatile organic compounds, chemical exposure, pollutants, phthalates, and formaldehyde. And your typical foam-based mattresses can actually off-gas chemicals. So with Birch, you don't have to worry about that. So that's really great, especially because we're just bombarded every day with so many toxins and chemicals. And we spend so much of our time sleeping in our bed. So we might as well make it as healthy as it can be. 
and buying a mattress online is actually incredibly easy. You just place your order, it ships to you for free, and then it shows up in this box and you just unroll the mattress and it just fluffs up and it's ready to use. It's pretty shocking that the mattress can actually fit in that little box. I am so happy with my Birch mattress. I've had it for almost a year now and it is the comfiest mattress I've ever tried. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. And Birch mattresses come with a 25 year warranty and they also have a 100 night sleep trial so you can test the bed, make sure that it really works for you. And if not, you can get a full refund. So if you are in the market for an organic mattress, definitely check Birch out. I am so, 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 so in love with my mattress. I've told you guys that many times, but you can go to birchliving.com slash holistic habits to get $200 off your order. And I will link that down below in the description box. And if you're really having trouble sleeping, there's different herbs and supplements that can help you sleep, like um, magnesium is really good for relaxing the body, tart cherry juice. Lately, I've been using the Laird Renew Rest and Recover because that has so many different sleep promoting ingredients in it. But you can also just have some chamomile tea or passion flower tea to help you sleep. And another thing that helps you get a really good night's sleep is to sleep in a quiet and dark room. So in my room, there's lights that shine in the window. So I have to have my blinds completely closed and it's pitch black in my room. So I love that while I'm sleeping. However, when I wake up in the morning, it makes it really difficult to wake up because I don't see the sunlight. It's just dark and it makes me want to sleep. So I recently got the coolest thing. So many people were telling me to get this for the longest time and I just kept putting it off, but I finally was like, you know what? I need to be a better morning person. So I got this Philips light. So this is the Philips wake up light alarm clock and it's basically a sunrise simulation alarm clock. So when the alarm goes off in the morning, it starts to bring light into your room and the color of the light changes. So it simulates a sunrise and there's also a setting for sunset. And then as far as the sound goes, instead of having that horrible, horrible, alarm clock sound from your cell phone. It has different nature sounds. So it has birds chirping and it's just so much nicer to wake up to this sunrise and birds chirping than to wake up in a dark room with your cell phone going off, you know? But if you're not able to get one of those, just try to open up your blinds right away in the morning or try to go outside right away in the morning so that you can get that sunlight into your eyes, onto your skin. But you know what? This is gonna come in really handy in the winter months when it stays dark out for so long in the morning. And if you live in a place like I do, where it rains most of the days, that can be a lifesaver because then you just get that sun in the morning because it's so hard to wake up when it's rainy and gray and dark outside. But yeah, I'm actually very impressed with that alarm clock and it was money well spent. And another tip for the alarm clock is to keep your alarm clock farther away from you. So you actually have to physically get up to go turn it off because if your alarm clock is right beside you and you're anything like me, you're just gonna keep pressing the snooze button over and over again. That was a really bad habit that I had. I would press the snooze button five times. It's pretty bad to do that because you're kind of setting your day being a procrastinator in a way. You know, it's kind of like right away when you wake up, you're like, oh, I'll do it later, I'll get up later. And then that kind of sets the tone for the rest of your day. And this kind of leads into my next tip, and that is having something in the morning to look forward to because then you're gonna actually want to get out of bed more. So maybe that's having a really nice calming morning routine. Maybe that's getting some exercise in the morning. One thing that I find helps me is I love having my athletic greens and then my matcha tea or my um, golden milk in the morning. And it's kind of like that morning treat. So yeah, I guess I use my beverages to entice me to wake up. Just find something that motivates you in the morning. And that might even be signing up for an early workout class or something like that. Something that you have to be accountable to go to. And especially if you work from home, this could be beneficial. Or if you just want to have some extra me time before going to work or school. But yeah, those are some tips to help you become a morning person. I hope that the tips help you out and that you enjoyed this 
this video. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at Holistic Habits. I love you guys so, 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 so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!